Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I pack in my diaper bag, how I pack it, and the diaper bag that we use. The twins are now seven months, so I'm going to show you guys very particularly what I have in my diaper bag for the stage they're in right now. If you hear them in the background, they're hanging out with me here. I am in the nursery. If you haven't watched my recent video reorganizing this nursery and setting up their closet, you can go ahead and tap above and you can watch that video when you get a chance. And without further ado, let's get into this diaper bag video. This is the Dagny Dover Indie Diaper Backpack in large in the color Storm. I love this color. We chose it because this color really fits into both of our wardrobes, so it's easy to carry it with us and feel good about wearing it. The bag is made out of neoprene material, so it's very light. One of my favorite things is this luggage sleeve, which is amazing for when you want to travel. You can just pop this into your suitcase handle. And these clips on the side are great also because it allows you to make the bag expand a little bigger if you need more space. I tend to keep them clipped on, but it's nice to have the option. Within the bag, there are several pockets and different compartments. There are pockets that are air mesh material, and there's also this magnetized pocket, which is great. It also has this little pouch inside for smaller items. I love all the big zippers, and I love that everything has like key rings and extensions that you can always add things to, like keys or anything that you want to clip onto the bag so that you don't lose it inside it also has this great front pocket inside you will find two stroller hooks you can hook the bag onto the stroller using these hooks even though i have mostly used these hooks on their own to attach a shopping basket at the supermarket and it's also convenient for that the pocket is one single pocket it just has access from both zippers so that's convenient if you want to put something in there that you want to reach with ease from the bottom or from the top part of the pocket again the bag is very large you can fit many things in here it also has these side pockets in the back for your phone or anything like that again for easy access the straps expand really long which is great because morgan is very tall and that's convenient for both of us and it's easily adjustable so when he wears it i can easily adjust it back to my preference i love the side pockets especially because it has this elastic band it also comes with this bag it's basically so you can dump any wet items and that way the other things inside your bag do not get wet lastly it comes with this wonderful changing pad it's also made out of this like air mesh material easy to clean and i love how easy it is to fold it back up and just close it with the velcro strap that it comes with you can easily do this with one hand if need be <laughs> so here's a bird's eye view of everything i keep in the diaper bag but let's get into each item one by one. First things first is my three key items changing pad wipes and diapers so i like to keep these wipes in the bag i buy these individually packed wipes and i love them because i can just grab it and it has its own opening so you can pull out the wipes and i always keep exactly four diapers in my diaper bag a lot of the trips we do are not really long i also like keeping a large burp cloth in my diaper bag to pick up any spills or any spit ups this one's great it's from Burt's bees these are the burp cloths that I use. They're from this brand called Diaper Squad. I think I got them on Amazon and they come in different colors. I have several of these and I usually match them with their outfit. It has two snap buttons so it's easily adjustable to your baby's neck size as they grow. And then this passy holder is incredible. I have two of them because I thought I would need two for both babies, but honestly, you only need one. I love how simple it is to just pop the pacifier in there and take it out if I need it in case the twins lose one. Of course, you need something to pull out those boogers. They obviously hate this like any other baby, but I like keeping it in the diaper bag just in case. Along with this, I also keep some saline water this one is from nose frida it's a saline snot spray so if i need to suction any boogers out um, easily this will help these are pacifier clips this is great for when i'm on the go again so they don't drop any of their pacifiers and this is probably one of my favorite items in the bag these are scented bags and it's obviously to dispose of those poopy diapers but i think they're so great because they're a really good size and when you open it up they're just easy to fit anything else. So you can also use this to put any wet clothes or in the summer if you want to pop the bathing suits in there or anything like that. These are just clutch. This is also probably my second favorite item. This is from a brand called Baby Bum Co, I think. And I'll try to link it down below. But basically, it's a baby bum brush so that you don't have to get your fingers dirty with any diaper cream or anything like that. And it also has a suction on the bottom, which is great for when you're on the changing table at a public restroom. You can make sure this isn't going anywhere or touching any other surfaces. What I keep in here is basically this petroleum jelly that I got as a sample from the hospital. And I just kind of kept it in there. And it's just, yeah, perfect. This is my formula dispenser. It comes with several different compartments. I also got this on Amazon, and this is what I use to individually pack their formula for each feeding. 
it has a screw top and this is how you pour out the formula into the bottle from the top these are the bottles that i use i love this brand they're both glass bottles later in the video i'll tell you guys why i specifically like these when i'm on the go with the twins of course i need to have some teethers for them for when they need to be distracted or if they want a little snack i also like to keep a hand sanitizer in my bag to just clean my hands when i'm not able to stop at a public restroom the next two items are for mom, a lip balm. It's not my favorite one. It's just one that I keep in my diaper bag in case my favorite one gets forgotten. And then a kind bar or any kind of granola bar. Obviously, as a mom, you can forget to eat and it's nice to just reach into the diaper bag and have a snack. These are two liquid doses for teething relief. They're teething on and off. So it's just nice to have something in the bag that I know will relieve them if I need it. So now that I show you guys everything that's in my diaper bag, let me show you guys where I put it inside the diaper bag and how I organize everything. The last thing I'll say is these formula dispensers, as convenient as they are, I've found that it's easier for me to carry two of them. That way I can dispense the formula for the twins individually into each of their bottles. It's just much easier for me to do this. Of course, with twins, it's all about having a life of ease. So like I said, the mouth on the Avent bottles are nice and wide, so it allows for me to pour the formula in very easily. And so I just wanted to tell you guys uh, this little part. All right, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I am so happy that I was finally able to share with you guys what I put in this diaper bag. I absolutely love this bag. I'm so happy that I decided to put it in my registry. We received this as a gift and it's honestly one of the best gifts we got because it's something that can definitely carry through with us into their toddler years and all of that. Leaving the house can be so daunting. Even if you have one baby, it can feel like a lot and Having this bag prepared and ready to go is something that is so helpful for me to be able to like leave the house easily and not have to think about all the steps that it takes, especially because this is only one part of it. Obviously getting the babies ready, getting yourself ready. There's so much mental load that goes into leaving the house as a mom. So I know how difficult that can be and I hope this video is helpful for whoever needs it. Feel free to watch our morning routine with the twins. We shared that recently and you can catch that right here below. See you guys on the next video. Bye.